Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm transforming our bay window with curtains but without a curtain rod. So this was a project I was really excited about because I wanted to be able to hang banners, all that different stuff, but I didn't want the unsightly curtain rod. For supplies, you're gonna wanna grab some small cup hooks and a can of spray paint. I got these at the local hardware store, but we'll link an option in the description box below. The key with the cup hooks is twofold. You wanna make sure that they're metal. Do not get these rubbery ones. If they're rubbery, it'll make it really hard to slide the curtain over the hook. You'll also want to make sure that they're pretty small, um, but not so small that they're not substantial enough to hold whatever you may want to hang on them in the future. So I'm probably going to be doing some winter greens come the holiday season, and I wanted it to be able to hold that, not just um, a really thin piece of curtain. Anyway, once you have your supplies, go outside and just coat one side with the spray paint. Choose a spray paint that is going to blend in with your wall color so that way if they're not in use, they're not unsightly. You'll wanna let them sit for about 15 minutes to dry. The longer you let them sit, the better. Once you're ready, go ahead and flip them over and make sure you're hitting the hooks from eye level as well. So you aren't just coating the top and bottom, but you're also getting the inner and outer parts of the hook. While the hooks are drying, you'll wanna go inside and measure out your area. Start by measuring the full width across, then determine where you'll wanna place your hooks. I worked my way to create an even distribution of hooks that weren't too close together or too far apart. This area is about 130 inches long and we used nine hooks. Depending on the size of your hooks, this may vary, but we use a three by 32 size drill bit to make the holes. Once your holes are drilled and your hooks are dry, it's as simple as twisting them into place. Now it's time to hang your curtains. I already did one side, as you can see in the far right corner. This is super simple though. You'll just hold your curtain up as if you're going to slide it onto the curtain rod. You'll find the loop fabric where the curtain rod would normally go, and you're going to just hook the back part of the material over the hook. That way, the front of the looped material will hide the hook from the outside world. You wanna pull it fairly tight while going across. You don't really want a drape look between the hooks. We also added one cup hook on either side of the window about midway down the wall. This way we could tie the curtains back and create a draped effect without them blocking the full window, which is what I'm doing here, just tying back the curtains on the middle of the wall hook. I'm a huge fan of cup hooks instead of a curtain rod. Here's a quick example why. Aside from hanging curtains, you can also do garland or festive themes. So I'm using just a wooden garland from Target for this example, but you could also do a birthday party banner, winter greens and twinkly lights come Christmas, or spider webs and skulls come Halloween. I'm beyond excited for this corner of our house. This is the finished look. It is so whimsical. I can't wait to add some throw pillows and curl up in there with a good book and my puppy on Sunday afternoon.